All right, y'all, I really, truly appreciate that people are doing their best to pronounce the Li Yue names properly, but we know that even the official English voice actors aren't doing it right most of the time. So I just wanted to make a quick video walking us through all of the official pronunciations um, in Mandarin Chinese of each of the characters' names, since that is the dialect with which the voiceover is done in Chinese. So for anyone who's unfamiliar with Mandarin Chinese, there are four main tones that we speak in the language. Um, honestly, when I am saying these names in passing, I don't switch into Chinese tones. I just keep it mostly toneless or like work it into my standard English tonal system, which is more based on like context. So don't worry too much about the tones. They're the hardest part probably of Chinese phonetics to pick up, um, but I will be going through those in this video. So really quick before we get started, uh, the four main tones are, the first one is flat. So like ah, the second one goes up. So it sounds like ah. The third one goes down and then up. So it sounds like ah. And then the fourth one just goes straight down. Ah, <laughs> sounds kind of angry. We'll start actually with just the main region name, which is Li Yue. Um, slowing that down a little, that is second tone and then fourth tone. Li Yue. Um, I do usually hear people say Li Wei, which is really close. You're just missing the Y sound. Um, so to break that down a little bit more, Li is easy, right? It's like the same as L-E-E, -E, like a common English surname here. Um, but the Yue part, I think people struggle with. So to break that down, it's Yue, 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 Yue. Just say that fast. And then eventually it'll string together into one, cons uh, one syllable instead of two. The important thing to note here is that you don't want to do like you. Like when you say the word you, you notice that like your mouth closes over the vowel a little bit. Instead of you, it's you, you. Just keep your mouth like in the same shape and the vowel shouldn't change through the, the process of that sound. And then it opens up into the e. Eh. So it's yu e, yu e, yu e. Moving into the characters then, we'll start with the man himself, Mr. Zhong Li. So Zhong Li's name, I think the hardest thing is the first character, right? So starting with the ZH sound, it's kind of like a hard CH sound if you added a little bit of like a Z sound into it. So if you went from like chicken, like ch, to ch, 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 um, the second part is O-N-G, ong, ong. Uh, worthy of note here is it's not a short O sound like a lot of people default to as English speakers. Um, it's really a long O sound. So ong, ong instead of ong. Zhi ong, zhong is how that strings together. And then the second one is just li again. The characters of his name are actually really interesting. Uh, it's the character for clock and then departure. So I guess it's like time of departure, which seems appropriate given his storyline, I suppose. But with tones, it's just pronounced zhong li, which is first tone and then second tone. So for those of you who have played through the Guili Plains area, you know who I'm gonna bring up next. It's Gui Zhong. Her name is completely flat. Um, they're all first tone words. So slowing it down a little. Gui Zhong. The characters of her name are Gui is to return and Zhong is final. It's a homophone with Zhong Li's Zhong, but it's not the same actual character. Um, so I guess her name basically means final return. So if you put them together into Gui Li, the, the plains area is there for Gui Li, uh, return and departure plains. So breaking down the phonetics of her name a little bit, the Gui breaks down into Gu A, Gui, Gu A, Gui. And then Zhong is the same as the Zhong Li Zhong that we already walked through. Now let's speed run through the rest of the characters, okay? Xing Qiu, second tone and then first tone. The way it breaks down is Xi Ying, Xing, Qi Yu, Qiu, Xing Qiu, Chong Yun, Chi Ong Chong, Yun, Yu Yun, Yun, Chong Yun. Bei Do, Bei Do. Hard to break that name down. It's just that's just how it is. <laughs> Ning Guang, Ning Guang. This one might be a little harder. The Ni is kind of like a instead of like a clean end sound like we get in English, your tongue is really on the roof of your mouth. So it's Ning Ning, almost like a Nya Nya. Ning Guang, Ni Ying Ning. Gu Wang, Guang, Ning Guang, Qi Qi. It's very easy. That's it. Qi Qi. <laughs> ke Qing, Ke, Ke e, e. It's like an e sound at the back of your throat instead of e. Ke, Ke Qing, C H sound for the Q. Ch, 
诗音，秦，客秦。相邻，相邻，夕阳林。And one last good boy. 肖，夕邀，夕邀，肖。And that's it. Thank you for joining me on this somewhat educational video. I hope you learned something about the way the pinyin phonetic system works, so you can read the locations a little easier too.、Um, I would love y'all to tell me what you think this flower is pronounced like. No, don't worry about tones. I know most of you can't read Chinese characters, but、um, just like spell it out and let me know.